Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fallen. I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for February 19th, 2016. So, today the Moon is in Cancer. We're still a little sensitive and emotional. But, you know, when the Moon is in Cancer, we'd like people who we feel familiar with around us. People who we feel comfortable with around us. Making the setting around us something we feel comfortable and familiar with. There's a trine to Chiron <clears throat> this morning if you're in Central Europe, if you're in America, it would still be in your bedtime. And this is a great time to make those bridges over those stormy waters and relationships that have grew apart and really meet people again, see people again and grow closer again with people who are important for you in your life. It's a great time for healing. There's a sextile and a trine between the moon and Jupiter in the nodes, which is really a nice time through this morning to... Um, morning and noon to just feel optimistic and loved and love life and and feel more benevolent and happy and content with whatever is happening it's a it's a very positive influence there is a trying to mars at around 1300 hours central european time that's around 600 hours eastern standard time it's an energy boost. We can utilize that energy to really progress anything we want to progress in our lives. It could be work-related and take things forward, in a, in a, 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 take, take projects forward. It could be in our home environment, cooking, cleaning, whatever it is. We can utilize this energetic wave for us. And, you know, if we don't utilize that energy, we could feel it surge up our Kundalini kadosis and uh, we need to know how to handle it. So it's also good for sensuality and for enjoying it with people whom you, whom you love. But understand that this energy is going to come through and we need to express it in a positive manner. There's a 145 angle between the moon and Sirius in the afternoon and your nighttime that will be in your morning and noontime America. So we have to be careful with our relationships with women. We have to really pay attention to our demands and our emotions, uh, our emotions and our demands from the environment and the environment from us. What people are asking from us and what do, you, do we ask from other people in our life. Sirius has a big issue with um, giving and giving and giving and remaining empty without even because we, we, we're not receiving enough back from our environment. So this is an issue that could spring up later on today. Not depleting yourselves completely on the altar of giving to others. There's a void of course moons from around 1530 Central European time, that's around 1130 Eastern Standard Time and until uh, late at night America or the next morning Central Europe. And the Sun, the Sun is moving into Pisces. We're gonna have a lot more Piscean energy in the sky and Piscean energy is all about not being connected to space and time, something that is eternal, something that is above the laws of man and has always been there and always will be. Doesn't matter which culture or which time you come from. The Piscean energy is a very artistic, very creative, uh, very pure, very uh, Neanderthal in a sense. It's not an intelligent energy, it's an emotional energy. And it's a very spiritual energy. And at this time, we could connect these kinds of energies by connecting more to the wild, connecting more to the outdoors, to the uncultured, to everything that, we, that is grander than us and that we have no control over. And nature, especially with the conjunction between Neptune and Ceres during the next couple of days, could speak back. And we could see it in positive ways such as species that have uh, thought to be ex extinct coming back or just beautiful natural phenomenons happening and we could see it in the more catastrophic ways of natural disasters, extreme weather or, or just tragedy um, that sprung from natural uh, causes like weather or anything else like that. So, I hope we have a positive weekend and happy birthday all you Pisceans. Thank you for listening. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.